Shipbuilders at J.H. Lane and Company in Searsport, Maine, built the Augustine Kobe pictured here. They launched the bark in 1867. By 1880, when Luigi Renault painted this oil on canvas, William Young Ford captained the Augustine Kobe. A search through newspapers lets us follow the 1880 travels of the Augustine Kobe. On November 12, 1879, Captain Ford sailed out of New York Harbor heading to Leghorn, an anglicized name for Livorno, Italy. Not long after their arrival in Leghorn, Captain Ford commissioned Luigi to paint a portrait of his vessel. The painting is titled Bark Augustine Kobe of Searsport Entering Leghorn, January 22, 1880. On March 5th, with a new painting in hand, did Captain Ford carefully stow it away, or did he proudly fix it to the wall of the captain's cabin? The Augustine Kobe left the port at Leghorn. 53 days later, on April 27, 1880, Captain Ford was back in New York Harbor with a cargo of marble and rags from Italy. They spent just over two weeks in port before heading to sea again, this time for Rouen, France. It's unclear where the Augustine Kobe and Captain Ford spent the summer months of 1880. After sailing for France in May, the next mention of the Augustine Kobe is when the bark arrives in New York Harbor after a quick nine-day sail from Cow Bay in Nova Scotia. Captain Ford arrived on September 2nd with a cargo of coal. Soon after that, the Augustine Kobe headed back to Europe. On November 26, 1880, Captain Ford arrived in Belfast, Ireland with a load of petroleum. To finish out the year this painting was created, Captain Ford on the Augustine Kobe left Troon, Scotland on December 17, 1880, heading to Matanzas, Cuba. This painting and the Augustine Kobe's travels in 1880 helped to illustrate a year in the life of a Searsport sea captain, the places he went and the cargoes he carried.